safe fence installed on a 2 plus 1 lane road. Almost 3,000 kilometers of Sweden's main road network consist of 13 meter roads. Nearly 100 motorists are killed every year on these roads. Some 60% of these accidents are head-on collisions. The possibility of making these roads safer by converting them into motorways is limited, since it would cost almost 100 billion Swedish kronor to do so. Therefore, the Swedish National Road Administration has together with the Swedish Road and Transport Research Institute analyzed other, less expensive ways of increasing road safety on existing 13-meter roads. The method considered to be most effective is to build a three-lane road with alternating two and one lanes in each direction, where the lanes are separated by a central barrier in order to prevent head-on collisions. The first road to be equipped with the system was European Highway E4 between Gävle and Axmartavla, a 32-kilometer long arterial road that was open for traffic in 1987. A total of 21 people were killed in head-on collisions on this stretch of road between 1987 and 1998. It has been concluded that the serious consequences of two-thirds of these accidents could have been prevented by a central barrier. In 1998, the stretch of road in question was provided with a central barrier of the wire rope type. The wire rope barrier selected is called Safence and is a Blue Systems product. Safence has been tested in accordance with the CEN standard that imposes functional demands on road barriers from a road safety point of view. The cross-sectional structure of the Yerle Axmartalman road is a 0.5 meter wide hard shoulder, two 3.5 meter lanes, a 1.5 meter central reserve with a wire rope barrier, one 3.5 meter lane and an 0.5 meter hard shoulder. Where a side barrier was needed, a safe fence slope barrier, which is a steel wire rope barrier positioned in the embankment, 75 centimeters from the shoulder was installed. This type of side barrier does not require a reduction in the road width. If traffic comes to a halt, if there is a breakdown, puncture or a serious accident on a 2 plus 1 road, there is a risk of the central barrier impairing the access of rescue services. If an accident occurs on the single lane side, it could lead to a halt in traffic with resulting tailbacks and therefore limited possibilities for rescue services to reach the scene of the accident. In this case, the best way of reaching the accident is to approach it from the opposite direction and cross the wire rope barrier. Dismantling a wire rope barrier of the safe fence type is a very simple procedure. The ropes are lifted off the posts. They are then removed from their foundations. No tools are needed and the tension in the ropes does not need to be adjusted. Once the ropes have been lifted off a sufficient number of posts, the ropes are simply laid on the ground. The traffic can now be directed over the ropes and around the scene of the accident. Other rescue staff may also need to cross the barrier. Throughout the entire procedure, traffic can be directed around the scene of the accident.
The damaged vehicle is transported away. Traffic can now continue on the right side of the barrier. The steel rope barrier can now be reinstalled. No tools are needed and the tension in the ropes does not need to be adjusted. Now the police and rescue services can leave the scene of the accident. Cutting of steel rope. If for some reason it becomes absolutely necessary to cut a rope, it can be done. However, this is extremely unusual and is only done in the case of an emergency. If all the ropes are cut, the barrier is put out of action over a long distance. Safe fence.